Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Horizon. An unidentified aircraft has invaded Horizon's airspace and is continuing along its current path. Your objective is to investigate this unidentified aircraft and bring it down if it is determined to be hostile. The situation is still ongoing. When this briefing ends, mercenary enrollment will close to allow the mission to begin immediately. Board your arsenal and dispatch to the mission area at once. Briefing over. Is it an immortal? Unknown. Determining that is a mission objective as well. However, the Consortium Nations of Orbital all deny any affiliation whatsoever with this aircraft. This aircraft's silhouette clearly does not match any of the aircraft currently operating within the Oval Link. How come no one noticed it before it entered Horizon's airspace? The aircraft has exceptional stealth capabilities. Furthermore, we attempted to communicate with it across multiple channels, but received no response. Then we'll just shoot it down, quick and easy! Unauthorized for humanitarian reasons. We cannot rule out the possibility that it is a manned aircraft. It could be a caravan of human survivors coming to Orbital for relief and aid. No, no, no. Survivors from Oval wouldn't enter an active battlefield in the stealth aircraft without declaring themselves first. It's gotta be an immortal. Confirming that is an objective of this mission. Come on, be reasonable here. I am being reasonable. I'm an artificial intelligence, after all. <sighs> Forget it. <laughs> Joke's on you, kiddo. I can't believe I heard you say that for. When did you develop a sense of humor? I am not programmed for humor. Fine, fine, whatever. Joke's on me. The Western Seven accepts! It's just gonna get shot down anyway! Panzer Crown also accepts. I'm with Gargantua. Innocence accepts this mission. My rig is raring and ready to go! <laughs> well said. Let's get our arsenals in gear. Don't be late, rookie. See you on the battlefield. Yeah, 4 is not acting like an AI. I'm looking forward to when the plot kind of consolidates a little bit instead of this sort of introductory mode and we start getting, like, into the wild stuff. And if it never does, Approach I'll just set it. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle distribution is very dense. Performing radar correction with each sensor. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. We have confirmed visual of the unidentified aircraft displaying on your console. Uh, isn't that the thing I was just transporting? Or guarding? Ah. Uh. Well, so much for the investigation. That's an immortal, all right. Probably seized that aircraft from a factory or something. So, we reckon this thing or what? I'm sending the captured data to Orbital. Please wait up. Processing. Detecting a powerful Fento response within the aircraft. It is a high-powered laser weapon. Take evasive action. That's a very fast... fast plane. Direct hit to Crow's unit. Flight systems offline. Bracing for crash landing. Ah, oh, damn it! Gargantua! Did you know that attack was gonna happen? Yeah! I had a feeling. So what? Why the hell didn't you warn us? You got eyes and ears. Use them next time, idiot! Looks like I drew the short straw on this one. Listen, don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. You gotta complete it. Four. Send a request to Orbital to rescue the Innocence kiddo. Request sent. 
A rescue team will arrive within minutes. Attention. Orbital has confirmed that the target aircraft is an immortal. Horizon has updated your mission objectives. Eliminate the immortal that has invaded their territory. <laughs> Attention. The target aircraft is approaching Sky Union's territory. This mission does not authorize you to enter Sky Union's territory. So we just let it go? It's getting away! I repeat, this mission does not authorize you to enter Sky Union's territory. I can't believe we just gotta watch it escape. Attention! New units have entered the mission area. New immortals? Wait, what the? Detecting a powerful femto response within the aircraft. Bullet works. Hey, what's the big idea? My prey! They took my prey! <laughs> His head says dinky. Calm down. One wrong move here and we're dead. Attention. The mission has been updated. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. Unidentified? Four, confirm the status of this mission with Orbital. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Attention. The mission has been updated. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. So, this is a new mission? That means a bigger reward, yeah? With this mission update, the reward for the previous mission has been expunged. Attention! The unidentified units have locked onto you. Little punks got their safeties off! Guess they really want to throw down with us. Everyone, get ready. Hut! Detecting a powerful Femto response. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Well, that looks like some graffiti right there, so I'm going to go take a look at that, because that looks like the best graffiti I've seen all game. I got squid! Probably pay more attention to where good graffiti is, but haven't seen much. Well, that was a trivial mission. Lasers are stupid, and my missiles are strong as shit. Well, let's finish off D-Rank. Uh, let's just dive right in. I might do- I'm gonna do some free mission grinding probably between sessions. Maybe? Alright, unidentified aircraft has entered Horizon's airspace. Team up with other reclaimers to identify the aircraft, determine its intent. It's the same thing. Enemy mercenaries, I guess. Alright. Are we just diving right into the fight? Why not just dump me into the fight? I guess it's because I just beat a boss. Handily. Horizon has updated your mission. Eliminate the unidentified units that have invaded Horizon's territory. Unidentified? Look at them! They're obviously with bullet works. Regardless, they are flagged as hostile. <laughs> Incoming transmission from the unidentified units over the wide area channel. Your response? Open the channel. Unidentified units. This is Bullet Works. Cease your advance into Sky Union's airspace and leave immediately. If you refuse, we are authorized to bring you down by any means necessary. Big talk coming from unidentified units like yourselves. What are you talking about? You're the unidentified ones, not us. BG, I think something funny's going on. In the decades I've been fighting in the Oval Link, I've never encountered anything like this before. But I know similar cases have been occurring more frequently. Now I'm all but certain that information is being tampered with. Tampered with? By who? And why? I don't know. You don't know? 
Are you still gonna fight when you know something weird is going on? We should abandon- You can do whatever you like, but Bulletworks never abandons a mission. BG, you gotta be kidding. You really wanna fight the rookie? Johnny, what are you fighting for? Well, when I started out, I just wanted to show up my old man and my brother. But after serving with you and the others, I'm starting to believe that we're really fighting to make the world a better place. You've become a fine soldier. I'm honored to have you under my command. Quit getting sidetracked. What does that story have to do with anything? Everything. Something is happening in the Oval Link. Something that involves the Immortals, the Consortiums, Orbital, and even us mercenaries. Whatever this is, it's bigger than our reasons for fighting. You don't know that. Maybe. But I know I can't turn a blind eye to what's happening. Certainly not for the men and women who have fought by my side. I propose that you abandon your missions. Orbital does not intervene when legitimate missions come into conflict with one another. Nevertheless, mercenaries are valuable assets. I cannot recommend that you risk your lives to fight each other. I'm surprised you would say that, Four. While we're at it, maybe we should ignore the Consortium's little turf war, too. How's that sound? I repeat, I propose that you abandon your missions. Is that proposal really coming from you? Or someone else? Perhaps completing our mission will get us closer to whoever's behind this. So you want to fight to uncover the truth? If you want something, you have to be willing to fight for it. That's what we've always done, and what we'll continue to do. Well, when you put it like that, there's no way we can possibly back down. The Western Seven never backs down either! Get ready, Johnny. Moments like these are the true test of a soldier. Yes, sir. Private First Class Johnny G, ready for battle. You're gonna see just how strong Bullet Works really is, rookie. Don't go dying on us now. Begin the mission. Well, grab the beam saber. Okay, time to just bully Johnny G. Okay, so the answer is my missiles are stupid. Whoops, that's gonna take everyone off. Johnny, prepare yourself for extreme firepower. I'm sick and tired of your showboating, rookie. Other mercenaries, people I respect, keep telling me you're incredible. Like I don't know that already. The way they gush about your service record? I'm a real mercenary too, damn it. I would die for bullet works. If you don't believe me, then try me! What? Four. I'm ejecting my firearms and switching to blade weaponry. What? Increase generator output to maximum. We're hashing this out up close and personal. What? Your unit is heavily damaged. Its structural integrity is compromised. I strongly advise against this. One hit. That's all I need. You're going down, rookie! Enough. Bullet Works is abandoning this mission. The enemy units are withdrawing from the mission area. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. BG, what the hell? I can't afford to let you die here. I thought we might learn something if we took this mission and saw it through to completion. But I was wrong. And if I'm being honest, I also wanted to fight the three of you. Especially the rookie. That's all. That's all? You're lucky no one got killed just now. Hey, I know I said I was willing to die and all. But that doesn't mean I was planning on it or anything. What the hell's going on? Battle's over. We won. BG, how sure are you that someone is pulling all our strings? Sure enough that I'm prepared to fight back in whatever way I can.
Whoops. 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 Good luck, Johnny. <laughs> Have fun with those missiles. Generator output dropping. Mapping return sequence. Execute the sequence before returning becomes impossible. I'm returning. I have a lot of work to do when I get back. Uh, anyway, anyone want to explain that? Because that, all of that got very strange. <laughs> Seriously, what was up with him just being super mad at me all of a sudden? I don't get it. Like, we were super buddy-buddy before that, and then he's just like, eh! <laughs> uh, what? I tried to be slick about meeting here, in case our communications are being monitored. But I'm already second-guessing this. We definitely don't look like we go out for ice cream together. Really? I happen to like ice cream. There's a new flavor here I've been wanting to try. But it's difficult for a man in my position to come here alone. Okay, then. So what brings us here? I assume you have something to report. I did some digging into Four's actions during the last mission. The way she pit us against each other as enemy units, only to propose that we abandon our missions. A tactical support AI should not be able to perform those actions. Hmm. Go on. I examined the mission from start to finish, looking for signs of any outside tampering. A virus, unauthorized backdoor access, anything. But the mission came up clean. Which means Four was operating normally when she performed those actions. I'm not entirely sure I understand. Does this mean we can't trust Four? Serving humanity is the foundation of Four's programming. Overriding it would be very difficult. If she were operating normally, she wouldn't deviate from her purpose. Maybe she proposed we abandon our missions out of concern for our lives. But we fought anyway. The fact that there were no casualties was a stroke of luck more than anything else. Maybe she decided that fight was necessary, for our sake or for humanity's sake. Or maybe she decided it wasn't necessary, but inevitable nonetheless. Either way, we fought, but I don't know why Four allowed it to happen. But when she advised against Johnny's reckless suicide attack, she was operating normally, correct? I'm analyzing Four's mainframe as we speak. Her databases are massive. A full analysis is going to take a while to complete. But once it's done, we'll know whether someone's been putting ideas in her head, so to speak. You can access Four's mainframe? That's Orbital's most closely guarded secret. Its location has never been revealed. I don't disclose trade secrets. Let's just say I have my ways and leave it at that. Fair enough. I leave this to you then. I don't care how you pull it off. Appreciate it. I wonder if we should pass this info along to our loud friend from the Western Seven. Keep this between us. Guess you're right. I'm putting a lot of trust in your judgment, BG. At this time, there's still a lot we just don't know. All we really know is that something is starting to happen. And whatever it is, we're caught up in it now, you and me. Eventually, we'll have to make a choice. When that time comes, I just want you to remember what you're fighting for. I don't fight for anything. I fight because that's where the money is. Of course. When you faced us, you didn't back down in the slightest. That's why I know I can trust you. What? If I learn anything, I'll let you know. You enjoy that new flavor now, okay? Catch you later. Believe me, I will. It's not that surprising I like ice cream, is it? Hmm. Especially with a little brandy dribbled over it. Now that's a real treat. It doesn't have to be ice cream, I suppose. As you get older, you start to treasure the little moments in life. It's the little moments that make me think our battles will end someday. So I must do my duty and survive to see that day come to pass. Look at me, rambling to no one. 
I kind of wish sons give birth to life. The death of countless sons brings the circle of life to a close. From the vast sea of memories, a wave breaks against the shore, a reminder of myself, only to vanish like tears in rain. Mend the broken chain. As I observe life in its current form, I am reminded of my purpose. Yes, to mend the broken chain. The cut threads are gathered and spun, stitched and entwined with other thread. But how will they be woven? Well, I am now rank C for beating this snot out of my friend. I feel bad. Robo Dad, you have our gratitude. Though the immortals seized our transport aircraft and Sky Union attacked our factories, damages were reduced thanks to your efforts. However, despite our gains in this battle, we have nevertheless suffered or sustained heavy losses. Our only option is to in the interim is to withdraw. Whether you travel the world by horse or car, as a couple or in a trio, the final step of your journey must be taken by you and you alone. While well, the situation has been entrusted to Orbital, we believe it will be difficult for them to address it through the proper means. Orbital is necessary, but only at present. As far as the future is concerned, we must be the ones to establish a new world order. We hope that you understand what that means, RoboDat. Yeah, it means you want to take over the world! I get it! I've seen enough of this! <laughs> What's this plot?! What's going on?! Stamina up, firing up. Uh, let's see. That might be good. These are kind of expensive. I should probably do some grinding or something. Can I... Okay, here we go. Whoa. Let's see. Now that doesn't actually... Eh, it provides like an extra hundred, give or take. I'd have to really see what these stats do. Ability, scouting, some other things. Lock on time. Lock on range. There we go. This is actually super helpful. So, provides an extra 50. 49 lock on range. Which is actually pretty good. Or I could just kind of ignore these things for a while. Uh... Huh. Like, I'm currently just beasting things by existing, so... Oh wow, there's a lot of stats here. Here we go. Landing recovery time, knockdown recovery time. Whoo! I didn't even know about this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually going to use this. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's not honestly very good. Well, uh, oh, that's weird. We also have guard the escape vehicle. Okay, so we got a couple more. So investigate, reclaim, destroy nightmare. Cool. Got some missions. This plot feels like they tossed every trope they could into a hat. Shook it vigorously, dumped it out on the floor, and then pieced it together more or less based on where it fell. Like, there's definitely, like, uh... I, I'm i waiting for love... Uh, do you believe love blooms on the battle... Uh, can bloom on the battlefield? Like, that, that feels like something that will be said over the course of this game. But, like, we're definitely getting a lot of, like, military-industrial complex nonsense. And just... There's a bunch of kind of little MGS style things that are kind of going on in the background here, which is weird because like, at least Kojima could kind of stitch them together in this like, balls to the wall, like, what the hell is even going on manner. This game is just kind of like yeah, here's a bunch of things going on, woo! <laughs> and so it's like, I'm really enjoying the game, but the plot is just so disjointed. We have like a billion characters that all have their kind of own thing going on. 
and we're kind of developing them through them like snarkily just sniping at each other. We have apparently a bunch of corporations that are just awful to each other and, you know, clearly vying for control of the rest of the world, but also like AIs that are taking over things and then we have maybe a rogue AI and maybe somebody pulling the strings and it's it's one of those where it's like I'm a little lost if only because I don't even know which direction I'm supposed to focus on. Normally when I play these games I start calling the plot after a certain point but I can't this is the opposite of Atelier Ryza where I spend the entire game being like I wonder where the plot is. This is a game where I'm like oh god plot how what who let's do one more mission just so I unlock uh, C rank, free mission, so we'll stop. Now commence. This is a private mission from Horizon, meant for you and you alone. This seems super illegal. Your mission is to infiltrate an airbase in Sky Union's territory and commandeer their new arsenal model. Upon securing the arsenal, you will deliver it to a Horizon transport aircraft at a designated drop-off point. However, you cannot use an arsenal to infiltrate the airbase. Oh no. You must covertly infiltrate the airbase on foot. Board the new arsenal model and pilot it to the waiting aircraft. While resistance from Sky Union is expected, the arsenal must be delivered with as little wear as possible. While the contents of this mission may arouse skepticism, this is a legitimate mission with Orbital's full authorization. A necessary measure to maintain the balance of resources and technology as each consortium operates in the Oval Link. As our ultimate goal is to control the Oval Link for the greater good of humanity. Orbital has decided that no single consortium can be allowed to monopolize its benefits. Think about this carefully. Whether you accept this mission or not is up to you. But Orbital believes you are the right person to carry out this difficult mission and ensure humanity's unity in the battles to come. Briefing over. Okay. So let's go buy let's go buy some upgrades. Let's go become a cyborg. Okay, I don't know about Blitz. Femto Absorption. These are all arsenal things. I don't know about Blitz power. So, ooh, increased melee range is really good. I now have Robo Arms. Yeah. All right. Increase chain attacks. Some of these seem pretty dang good. Take a look at lower body upgrades. So, increased movement speed. Okay. Increased boost speed. Reduce stamina usage. Well, we can't use any of those anyway. All right. Wait, oh, I only have one robo arm. If. I kind of hope by going through the entire, like, uh, the entire tree, I can actually just, uh, get to the point where I'm, I'm just 100% robo man. That would be hella rad. Okay, can I. Oh. Let's put this away. Body. Select decal. Squid. Edit decal. Big squid. Hell yeah, squid. I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> but I just got a squid now. Alright. Uh, let's see. So let, let's do this last mission, then I'm going to stop. Because I'm really hungry. I'm pretty tired. And I think I need to ruminate on this plot. And also grind. Because I have a burning need to grind always. When it comes to games that I actually enjoy them. Want to become Deus Ex? Uh, I mean, I asked for this. I actually asked for this. I want this. Give me the full Jensen. Approach complete. 
You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. No observable distribution of femtoparticles. Communications are offline. Generating facility map data. Pinpointing target coordinates. Begin the mission. Your target is the new arsenal unit. It is believed to be heavily guarded. Make your way to the unit without being detected and board it. Caution is advised. Without an arsenal, even a reclaimer of your caliber can be swiftly neutralized. Damn it. Well, this went bad. Ow. Ow. Jump over, thank you. Ow. I think I got spotted. Yes, I did. Oh, God! How strong am I? Wait, hold up. Can I just dad stash my way through all this? Am I just a champion? Ah, shit, these don't heal me. <laughs> Stealth is for other people. I have gun. Oh, you spotted me, did you? Sounds like a you problem. Ah, uh, uh. holy shit. Okay, can't go this way. No healing for the mortal man. Which is a bit of a shame. Where the hell do I get to this thing? I don't know. Well, that's okay. <laughs> don't get spotted. <laughs> Robo dead, don't care. Uh, anyway, next time we have to be... We have to just run around. I guess I know what I'm going to do. Full on aggression mode. Oh wait, that's an enemy mecha. That's a slight bit different from like a tank. I can fight a tank, not a mech. Target located. Board the arse. Wait, how small are these things? They're a lot smaller than I give them credit for. Confirming hardware connection. Initiating arsenal boot sequence. I no look actually evil. Weapon safety mechanism released. All systems normal. Activating arsenal. Wait, is that a shield gun? Pilot the arsenal unit to the extraction point displayed on your console. I will remind you that the unit must be delivered with minimal damage. This is a requirement to complete this mission. Processing. Oh, the enemy security system is already alerted to our presence. An undercover horizon transport is waiting at the extraction point. They will collect you along with the delivered unit. Holy shit, these guys are just bodying me. Are you lost? Navigation should not be this difficult for you. Review your console. See how simple it is? Okay, so now I've got a shotgun. Don't sass me, robot. Uh, Grim Reaper 2. Yes. I apologize. I demonstrated a lack of consideration earlier. Not every person is capable of reading a map. In any case, continue north. That will bring you closer to the extraction point. Oh, 
speaking. Robot's just like, you must escape without taking any damage. And I'm like, I must kill. This is how I, this is how I operate. Have you not met Robodad? Robodad does not care. Robodad leaves most, uh, most enemies dead or dying or in pieces. Mmm, juicy pieces. Okay, do we, do we have any more mechs around here? Because the tech in here is actually pretty good. And we'll go heal up. Easy peasy. Watch facility. Aha, you asked me to balance. I bring balance to the, uh, to this world. Gunfire. Is there anybody else that wishes to fight me? No. Well then. Farewell. Oh, she. The transport aircraft waiting at the extraction point has just been destroyed. Sky Union's commander must be very cunning to pin us down by cutting off our only means of escape. Perhaps this commander is an AI like myself. Attention. In light of the situation, this mission has been updated in accordance with protocol. Make full use of your current arsenal to escape the area and complete the mission. The previous mission up to this point has been expunged. Oh, it's a two-parter? God damn it. But we did get some cool equipment. We got a lot of cool equipment. Okay, I'll do one more, I guess. Escaping the mission area via the transport is now impossible. To ensure your safety and fulfill your mission objective, I propose using this unit to flee Sky Union's territory. This passage is a linear line that is no longer in use. It extends to the eastern tip of Sky Union's territory. Not to sound like I'm gloating about the unit we stole, but it is equipped with state-of-the-art features. As long as you keep moving, Sky Union's pursuit forces should be unable to catch up Processing. Disregard my earlier remark. Sky Union's forces detected on your radar. The safety on your firearms has been disengaged. Auto assembly standing by. Give me them sweet bits. Oh. They took away my gear from the previous mission. New unit detected on radar, approaching at greater speed than other pursuit units. Incoming transmission from the unit. The nature of this mission prohibits you from responding. Playing transmission. Surrender, thief, and return that stolen unit. Don't make me chase you now. Just come quietly, and I'll abide by the treaty and spare your life. Huh. Must be hard of hearing. <laughs> Fine. If you want to play, let's play. You know the rules, don't you? You die, you lose. I want your equipment, whatever it is, it must be purple. What is she doing? Where the shit? Okay, she went there. Whoops. Stay away from the green glowy cloud of probably pain. Did she even hit me yet? No. God, this really makes me want to just write some weird mech fiction. About a guy that doesn't suck at piloting mechs and everybody else is terrible. 
<laughs> She's just sitting there. <laughs> What's your plan, lady? Ah, shit. Please tell me I can take her out, right? God damn it, she's invincible. This is so shit. Alright, fine. This is really stupid. A new unit is approaching from behind. Be careful. The new unit's ID signal is... <laughs> Looks like you're struggling to catch this squirrel. This thief is mine, Red Dog. Stay out of this. Nah, I'd rather butt in. Klondike's release date is already 70 years ahead of mine. I gotta earn my keep so me and him can get out together. What difference does it make when you'll be dead before your sentence is up? We will never regain our freedom. Do you understand? Huh? Freedom? I don't care about that. I'm just trying to keep up with my brother. I ain't getting left behind again. You hear me? Ugh. Imbecile. You hear that, thief? I ain't backing down one bit. You're gonna die for me and my brother. I see where they were supposed to be going with this mission. But it doesn't quite work. Oh, I'm totally out of ammo. You've reached the 75% mark of the planned escape route. Current energy reserves are sufficient. Continue your escape. Red Dog, get ready to slow down. If you speed out of this passage, they'll put a bounty on your head. Screw that. My brother will be friggin' furious if I let this thief get away. This is a pretty good shotgun. But yeah, straight up can't, um, I don't think I can harm either of them. I might be able to harm Red Dog. It's really hard to tell. At but this time, you have passed through 80% of the escape route. Processing. New units detected, approaching from directly ahead at high speeds. ID signals unknown. You risk being caught in a pincer attack. Situation has escalated. Recalculating for maximum odds of survival. No, there is no time. Rookie, I got you covered. Just keep moving. Don't stop. I found this fascinating electronic weapon on the black market. 
Now seems like a good time to try it out. Let's see what it can do. But yeah, I don't really appreciate the fact that I couldn't say take her out. I get a, I get why I can't do it for plot reasons, but from from the perspective of like gameplay, it's real dumb that I more or less just soloed her easy. And then, then it's just kind of like, all right, and then you're just supposed to kind of keep going while she's invincible. And it's like, I don't like it when games do that. I get it why they're doing it for this one, because it's supposed to be cool. Proceed through the designated point. The enemy units will not pursue you. Leaving Sky Union's territory. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Connecting line to Horizon's transport aircraft. Data link established. Mapping rendezvous sequence. Executing. Accomplishing this mission has maintained the balance of power within the Oval Link. Excellent work. But yeah, it would be nice if it like slowed her down, you know, made it so that she couldn't pursue anymore like at, at speed so she'd still show up in cutscenes but you could tell that she was damaged but instead it's just kind of like no I guess I just wasn't supposed to do that and is that it is there like yeah there's just no acknowledgement of what just happened there cool I I'm mostly fine with it but it's like it's to go along with this really disjointed plot I just committed a crime kind of sort of I mean like a sanctioned crime but still and as far as I can tell the plot's just like cool you did it congrats and it's like wait what but what I what consistency is important and I'm I'm it's suffering from it a little bit like if uh, once again if the Xenoblade people did this I think it would be really cool I really like Xenoblade Chronicles X but I felt like the mech combat and that was kind of unsatisfying you could mosh these two games together, like the writing from Xenoblade and the gameplay from this, and then the world design from Xenoblade, and the guns from the- I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm definitely going to keep playing. This game is really fun, but, uh, whoo, narrative.